Now let's go to meteorologist Kirk Greenfield for another look at the forecast. Kirk, it looks like tomorrow will be another day in the 50s. It does, but not quite as warm as we saw today, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start by taking a look at our radar satellite composite and very light showers continue to move from the south northward through the Mid-Ohio Valley. As a result, we do have uh, some showers now in Washington County tracking towards Noble County, not terribly heavy, nothing that's going to be flooding, but it does look like that's going to continue. When we take a look at the Jan Dills Marietta Skycam atop the Lafayette Hotel, we're 55 degrees, 89 percent relative humidity the winds out of the east southeast at three miles per hour and the pressure 29.96 inches of falling when we take a look at our current temperatures 59 down at charleston 58 in columbus we're at 55 54 in athens already and 50 down in beckley 55 at wheeling Generally, breezes from the east, maybe five to eight miles per hour. We're at about three miles per hour. Athens is calm at the moment, but some of this air is being drawn into a low pressure system off to the west. Now, we're about five, two to five degrees cooler than we were last night at this same time, and that trend is going to continue. Uh, we're looking at the most recent radar imaging. Again, some showers that stretch up into Morgan County, Noble County, as we uh, zoom out and take a look at it. We're in between systems here as another wave is likely to come from the south, but it's this back edge. We're waiting for this to migrate to the east, and then we'll be into a different sort of air mass as this is swirling around a vigorous low pressure system that is really taking all the moisture up into Canada before it turns over to snow. So we're seeing showers and possibly thunderstorms on the east coast here. Futurecast suggests we'll see you again some intensity of this uh, rain shower action overnight, but uh, for the most part, it's not going to be flooding issues for Parkersburg as we get into tomorrow. A little bit drier by the time we get into the afternoon, but still cloud covered. Keep your eye on this swirl as it goes around, it goes through the boot hill of Missouri and into Kentucky. It doesn't look like it's headed our direction, but it has to pull the cold air into our region. So tonight, 48 for the overnight low, rain continuing on again, off again. Tomorrow, a few lingering showers as well. 53 for the high temperature. That's it. A little bit cooler than we're seeing this afternoon. As we look at uh, the chance of precipitation, it's about 86%. And then we dip down. The overnights will come just down to freezing. And as we get to New Year's Eve, it looks like we'll be just a couple of degrees below. So the roads could be a little slippery there, but it doesn't look like it'll be a massive cold snap. Still, the trend is going down.